19th century laws criminalising abortion have been scrapped in a historic move by Queensland's Parliament. Reporter Josh Bavis was there for the vote last night and he joins us now from State Parliament. Josh, what were the final numbers on this vote? Yeah, Ros, a historic bill and a landmark bill that was passed in Parliament. In the end, it was 50 votes to 41, so it was passed very comfortably. Uh, now, the bill allows for complete access to abortion up to 22 weeks. Beyond 22 weeks to full term, only if two medical practitioners approve so. It'll also mean that doctors who would have objected now have to refer patients on. And there'll be 150 metre safe access zones for patients who are trying uh, to access clinics. Now, in the last minutes just before the bill was passed, an opposition MP tried to move amendments to reduce that gestation limit from 22 weeks down to 16. He also tried to make uh, uh, moves for independent counselling services to be provided and also some restrictions about who those two medical practitioners have to be, whether that's the clinics or otherwise. All of those amendments were voted down. Some of the surprising votes, though, were... Uh, uh, like Tim Nichols, the former LNP member who ended up going with the Labor majority to vote for this bill, along with two of his South East Queensland members, uh, and Joanne Miller, the most safest Labor MP, in the end sided against this bill. Have a listen to what the Premier and the former LNP leader Tim Nichols had to say. This was a law that's been in place for over 100 years. It is very significant and it is a very significant social reform. I didn't make it lightly, I made it after a lot of consideration, but I think it's the right decision and I think it is uh, and will be seen to be a very historic day for the right reasons. Um, I accept that people won't, accept, won't like the decision I've made, um, but ultimately that is down to me and my conscience. And Josh, was it an emotional debate? It sure was, Ros. Over two days, uh, an issue like this with um, a clear um, two sides of the debate, very powerful and very emotional speeches ranging from people who said women are dealing with these choices every day, facing possible prosecution, to others like Ted Sorensen from uh, the Wide Bay who said that he was in fact an unplanned pregnancy and had this bill been around uh, at, at that time, he might not be here today. Uh, in the last few moments before uh, the motion for the bill came, uh, the country MP Anne Lay slammed the group Emily's list for having endorsed and supported MPs to get to politics with a pro-choice agenda. Now she was met with hostility across the floor of Parliament and people saying that it was time that these uh, laws which were around uh, before women had the chance to vote uh, had been in place and that it's time that those laws were scrapped and that Queensland moves uh, with the progressive times and becomes a modern state. Josh, thank you.